Sometimes you just gotta confront shit. It ain't easy, fun, nice, pretty, anything like that. Take a bunch of good adjectives and throw them out there as what that isn't. <laughs> because confronting shit sucks. I mean, let's be real. You gotta confront somebody about a problem, you gotta confront a situation, it, it's never pleasant. But, that is reality. And we, I, I can't stress that enough. So many situations out there can be resolved by somebody standing up and saying, whatever's required of the moment, you know, but they have to confront the situation, say, this is what's happening, I need to do something about it, and I need to be active about it. Confronting things, people, whatever, is not a passive thing. It's not something you let happen. It's not something that just, it'll happen when the time is right. It, it's a choice. It's a personal and strong will choice that shows character if you can make it at the right times. Because, let's be quite honest, a problem not confronted is not solved. A problem that is not dealt with is still a problem. And yes, you might be able to wait out a person. Let's say you have a bully in school, right, and he's pushing you around, and you've chosen to wait him out. Yeah, he might move away or go to a different school or whatever have you, but bullies always exist. And if you can't deal with them, well, that one bully's just going to be replaced by another later, and he'll be replaced later, on and on. The problem itself, as a total, exists independent of the person creating it, and very often, problems can be resolved with you. You might only be one factor in the problem, but that could in itself be a problem. Maybe you just shouldn't be there in that situation. Maybe your way of confronting it is to say to the people, whatever, hey, this isn't for me, this is not where I should be, bye. Maybe confronting the problem is talking to somebody who's pushing you around and saying, well, I'm not taking it anymore. You can't do this to me. Maybe confronting it is a work-related thing or a relationship thing or anything, right? Confrontation is something that happens everywhere throughout life. And it's a skill that not everybody has, but it's one everybody should work towards. Because as often as people run away from problems, and I've done it too, I'm not singling out everybody else without looking at myself too, as often as everybody has run away from problems, we all do it, we could all use a lesson in confrontation and how to do it effectively. People sit there and gossip about somebody, what's happening in their life, but they don't talk to them and directly and ask what is happening. You know, there's a relationship going on or something and whatever's the local scuttlebutt of the moment and people so often just won't ask. That guy comes around, the conversation's done. And now it's moving on to something not related to them because nobody wants to talk to that person and say, hey, this is what I heard. What's actually happening? Or, let's say, relationships are always good examples because of how twisted and messy they can be. Let's say you have somebody in this relationship who isn't treating you right or they're not holding up their end of the bargain or something. Well, you could wait to just see if it gets better, but really, even if it gets better in the moment, the next time it happens, well, the problem's really still there and it always has been there. So, long story short, people, learn how to confront problems directly and with precision. Don't confront a problem if all it's going to do in that moment is create a fight or something. Find a better way or time to confront it, but don't run away from it. As I said, a problem not confronted is a problem not solved. If you want resolution, you must resolve it. If you want a problem to actually, truly be dealt with, you have to stand up to it. Just as with bullies, problems are infinite and are replaceable. They will come and they will go, but they will always be there. And if you can't stand up to them, you are at the mercy of the problems your life chooses to throw at you. Oh wait, I said that wrong. The problems that you choose to let into your life. Because by not confronting problems when they happen, you are allowing a long-term issue to exist in your life. Just something to think about.